What is up guys? In this video, we're gonna be implementing the CC button class. This is just going to be a class that allows us to create um, good looking sprite nodes. It's not actually gonna implement the functionality. We'll be doing that in the menu scene class right here. But to start, let's create that class. So we're gonna do a new CC button. It's going to be an SK sprite node. Now this button is going to contain two different things. It's going to contain a shape node that has rounded corners and it's going to contain a label node as well. So uh, let's import the UI kit here, import sprite kits. And also let's organize some of this stuff over here. We can just drag the CC button and the points label down into the nodes category and awesome. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna implement, we are going to implement the initialization function. We are going to, <clears throat> we want to be able to pass in text to this button and also a fill color. Um, and this is going to be the color that's in the background of the button. So we can have different colored buttons if we want. <clears throat> As always, let's create this uh, necessary required initialization function. And yeah, so first we're going to set up the label node. And the reason we're doing the label node first, even though we're going to be adding the fill node onto our object first, is because we need to know the size of the label in order to get the dimensions of our fill. So we're going to say um, let label node equal SK label node. It's going to um, be the text of text, the text that's passed in. For our font size, I found a good font size was going to be 17. Um, for our actual font, uh, so the font name, we're gonna do American Typewriter Bold. You guys can do any font you want. I'll actually link to a site that shows you all the possible fonts that um, you can do in Xcode. So um, just be sure you type in American Typewriter Bold outright. If you don't, it's just gonna go and it's gonna go back to the default font type. For the font color, I'm gonna say color. And awesome. So now that we have a basic label node, we can actually create the size of this CC button. So let's create a constant really quick for the padding. This is gonna be the padding around the actual label. So I'm gonna say label padding, uh, it's gonna be a CG floats is equal to um, 10 seemed like a good number when I did it before. And finally, we can actually do the super, initialer, and super initializer on this guy. So I think in most initialization methods, we've used the super initializer to start on the very first line. It's not actually necessary to do that. You just have to do it at some point within the initialization function. So I'm gonna say super.init, the texture is going to be nil. Color is going to be uicolor.clearcolor because we don't want any kind of background color right now. And our CG size is going to be, so this is where the label node is gonna come into play. So we're gonna say label node.frame.size.width plus label padding and label node.frame.size.height plus label padding. So as soon as we create and set the text for this label node and the font size and the font name, it's automatically going to size itself. So that's the reason we're using this in the actual creation of our CC button. And so now that we have that initialized, we can create our fill node, we can add our fill node, and then last but not least, we can add our label node as well. So um, we're gonna say let fill node equals SK shape node. Now I'm not sure if we've used SK shape node yet. Um, basically it's just a way, it's another type of node, kind of like SK sprite node with different constructors to make different shapes out of itself. So we have this constructor called, um, that has a rect and corner radius as its parameters. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna create a shape node that is in that rectangle with a corner radius in terms of um, how rounded the corners are gonna be. So the bigger the corner radius, the more round the corners are going to be. But uh, let's, so to do this, let's pass in the self.frame for, uh, for our rect, for our corner radius, let's do five. Five seems like a good number. And for our fill color, 
our so fill no dot fill color. Um, this is going to equal the fill color that we have passed in. So shape nodes have this fill color property that you can manipulate as you can see there. So last but not least, we can add this guy to our, so we can add child fill node. And then on top of that, we can do add child label node. Awesome. So um, we might actually need to change a little bit of the positioning with this label node to start. Uh, but let's, let's just add a couple of buttons right now. So let's go into our menu scene. Let's go into um, funk load buttons. And just to test this out, let's say, okay, so let start button equals CC button. Text can be start, UI color, let's do UI color dot green color, just for a quick and simple uh, color to start. And we can say start button dot position, let's center this guy, so we're gonna do CG point make frame dot size dot width over two, frame dot size dot height over two. And let me, um, let me space some of this out so you can actually this is actually centered on our recording screen. And last but not least, we just want to add this guy. So we're going to say um, add child start button. And let's be sure, as always, to put the load function in the did move to view function. Let's run this and let's see, let's see how we're doing. I want to make sure in our game view controller that we have, um, it looks like we're loading in the game scene right now. Uh, let's switch that back to menu scene. Um, I think I recorded another video and switched it over to the game scene temporarily, so. Let's see, as soon as this loads up. Awesome, so we have a decent start button. It looks like the label node isn't really uh, centered very well, so let's fix that really quick. Um, it looks like that's about half the height of that label node, so let's change the Y value. If you go into our CC button and we say, uh, label node dot position equals position dot y. So let's get a little more specific there. Minus equals, so this is just going to minus whatever value we have to the right of this statement. Minus equals label node dot frame dot size dot height over two. Um, let's see what that does when we run this. Awesome. So that looks a little bit, that looks um, more centered to me. Um, and I think what's giving the issue, what, like why it doesn't look completely centered is this color that we have here. So to get a better color, let's go into, I'm going to really quickly grab the color that I had previously. So I'm just going to copy this over. So this is going to be the color that was used in the first video that you saw. Um, let's go into our menu scene. Let's actually create a constant up here. So I'm gonna say let K button color, just so it's easier to, um, it's easier to change if we wanna change it in the future. But these are the values right here. It's 35, 130, 37 with an alpha of 1.0. And instead of that fill color, I'm going to say um, a fill color of the K button color. Awesome, so that looks pretty good to me. We have a start button, obviously it's not doing anything yet. In the next video, we'll add the game center button, get these guys positioned, and we'll also add the functionality to them.